you are welcome to the working with the feature geometry in AutoCAD Map 3D exercise. I am Vlad Domirchenko. I will explain how to make creating and editing a feature geometry in AutoCAD Map 3D much more comfortable with the use of Map 3D specific functionality together with AutoCAD basic tools. For example, we have to create a feature for a new market area in the commercial zone layer its boundary should consist of this simple polyline plus a part of boundary of the existing feature in the E-zone layer. We see that this feature has quite a complex boundary. Of course we can draw the new feature snapping to each vertex in this existing feature, but it can take much time and beside that we may uh, miss some vertices or on the contrary uh, redundant vertices thereby violating the topology integrity of our map. Nevertheless, we can do this much better and much faster. For that, we'll draw the new feature, but we'll do this very roughly. We'll right-click the commercial zone layer on the task pane and point to create and click new polygon commercial zone. First, we'll snap to this very simple polyline, it has only three vertices and then we'll continue to draw very roughly we must only overlap the existing feature and now we can close its boundary, we'll click enter and click exit. Thus we have created a new feature and then we'll split it with the boundary of this existing feature. We'll select this existing feature in the E-zone layer and then we'll click the extract feature from geometry button on the ribbon. Remember that our ribbon is tool based and we'll click close in this small window and thus we have converted this feature to an M polygon. We'll turn the E zone layer out and we'll select this M polygon. We'll go to the home tab on the ribbon, expand the modify panel and click the explode button. Thus we have converted this M polygon to a polyline. We'll go to the feature edit tab on the ribbon and we'll click the split feature button. We'll select this new feature and click enter. We'll click new and click existing. And now we'll click select and select this polyline. And we'll click enter. And thus the program has split this feature into two features. And the feature we don't need is just selected and we'll click the delete key we'll select this polyline and delete it we don't need it anymore and we'll select any M polygon right click and select similar polygons for that we'll click the select similar command and we'll click delete We'll turn the E-zone layer on, and so we see that we have quickly and accurately created this new feature. And now, suppose that we want to modify its boundary, that is to add this yellow polyline. For that, we'll first extract a geometry for the, this new feature. We'll select this feature, and we'll click the extract feature from geometry button on the ribbon and we'll turn the commercial zone layer out so this is also an M polygon we'll select it and again we'll click the home tab on the ribbon 
expand the modify panel and click the explode button. So we have converted this M polygon to a polyline. Of course it is very easy to edit polylines in AutoCAD. First we will split it. For that we will click the bracket point button on the ribbon and we will select this polyline and click at one end of the yellow polyline and then we will select this part of the broken polyline and snap this vertex to the second end of the yellow polyline and we will click the join button and select this yellow polyline and we will select the second part of the broken polyline and click enter so we have created a new sketch for the boundary of this feature we will click the create tab on the ribbon and we will click the create polygons button and we will enter S and click enter and select this newest polyline and click enter again and we'll click escape thus we have created an M polygon that will serve as a new geometry for this feature we'll select this M polygon right click and point to draw order and click send to back and we'll turn the commercial zone layer on and we'll go to the feature edit tab on the ribbon and we'll click the update feature geometry button and select this feature and we'll select the newest M polygon and click enter and click enter again so our feature has a new boundary and I think you believe that it is very easy to create and edit feature geometries in AutoCAD Map 3D. Thank you for your attention.